So I had a question about number 3A. So I thought I'd do this one step by step very slowly. And just like all the other problems where they call this taking the derivative the long way or the way we've done it in class is by talking about the secant line. Um, the first step is to identify the x1, y1, x2, y2. Same steps as before when we had simpler functions. Here the x1 though is an x. It's not an actual number. The y1 is found by plugging x into the equation, and the equation is 2x uh, minus 5 under the radical. The x2 is a, as we did back in the very beginning of class, and the y2 is found by plugging a into this formula for x. So you get the square root of 2a minus 5. Next step is to compute, compute the slope. This is the slope of the secant line. And the, the very last step is, of course, to let a slide to x. So here we take y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I just grab those things from step 1 and plug them into place. Now this is uh, more complicated than what we've had in the past. But we've seen stuff like this before. The trick is to do something called rationalize the numerator. So I'm going to go down here and multiply top and bottom by the conjugate of what's on top. So that's the square root of 2a minus 5 plus the square root of 2x minus 5. And that's done top and bottom. As before, now we take the top and we FOIL it. So we're going to take the first two, the outer two, the inner two, and the last two. As in all the other problems like this, the outer and the inner cancel. So I just left them out because this is a lot of writing here. So I notice that I sh show you right here that you have the f portion, the first two, which is square root of 2 minus a, uh, 2a minus 5 times square root of 2a minus 5, which is really multiplying those two things twice gives you just 2a minus 5. The last two, we have a similar kind of thing with 2x minus 5. So um, the minus 5 here plus a 5 here, if you don't put the parentheses, you're going to miss the minus sign here, um, will cancel. And so you're left here with 2a minus 2x. So, so far, there's a lot of algebra going on here, but nothing complicated because everything we've done here in class, it it, this is just a more complicated expression, but the steps we've done before in class. Now, um, I can factor this 2 from the 2a and the 2x. So I get the 2 to come out in front. And then I can cancel this a minus x on top and bottom. So I get this 2 over just this mess. I can drop the parentheses now because there's no multiplication going on. So the reason I had to do this is because back here, I couldn't just plug or let a slide to x. If I let a slide to x, I'm going to have a problem because I'll have a 0 in the denominator. Now I don't have that problem anymore because I've canceled out that problem. We call this a removable singularity. You don't need to remember that, but that's what it's called. So there it drops out, and I'm left with 2 over this guy over here, and now I can let a slide to x. So I'll let a slide to x, and then which is called taking the limit, and we get twice the bottom here. Notice now that these two twos cancel out, and I'm left with just 1 over square root of 2x minus 5. So we say the slope is 1 over the square root of 2x minus 5. Now, on the midterm, I actually have you check this using the short way or this just the chain rule. The original function was y is equal to the square root of 2x minus 1 uh, or minus 5. The inner is 2x minus 5. The derivative of the inner is 2. The outer is found by covering up this inner with my thumb and replacing my thumb with an x, so it's square root of x which is really x to the 1 half. The derivative of the outer is 1 half x to the minus 1 half. Now we assemble this. The derivative is the derivative of the outer function with the inner plugged in times the derivative of the inner function. And I have everything outlined here so you can follow my work. If I simplify that, the 2's cancel out, and I'm just left with the um, 2x minus 5 to the minus 1 half power. By laws of exponents, that kicks it down to the basement. Um, I had you memorize these, and hopefully you haven't forgotten them. I, I promised you I'd have them on every quiz, and I haven't. 
but this is really the square root of 2x minus 5 on the bottom. And you notice that I have exactly the same answer I got taking what's called the derivative the long way. And that's historically what students who come to engineering schools call this, the long way and the short way. As we know from class, though, we spent some time on this. The long way really is the right way because it's the way that we think of um, taking limits and calculating slope. We actually have our hands firmly grounded in the slope. And as bio majors, that's the way that you're probably going to see again. And the sh you'll never get an expression like this where you have to take the derivative. Okay, that's it. Um, send me email if you have any questions.